Hey everybody, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks, and today I want to show you how you can make an alternating layout for a repeater in Oxygen using the CSS grid. So let's go into Oxygen and see how this was done. So I already have WordPress installed and I actually also went ahead and used Fakerpress, which is a free plugin, to generate about six posts. All of these posts have a featured image set as well as an excerpt. Um, so what I want to do now is let's go into pages um, because you might want to use like a repeater on a services page or maybe the home page or whatever. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to create a complete blank page. Let's call this repeater uh, alter alternating. And actually, let's go ahead and publish this page and jump into oxygen. All right. So first off, of course, let's add a section. And then inside that section, we're going to add our repeater. There we go. And let's set up our query. So we're going to use query. I'm going to use the custom one and select post type because we want to select all of our posts. Let's apply the query parameters. And as you can see, I have six of these um, boxes for the six of our posts. Now to make it a little bit more easy to um, style it. Just while we are busy styling it, I'm going to actually set this repeater to single mode. So we just have one um, box to work with uh, for the design. So inside my repeater, what I want to do is let's actually slap a class on this div, which will be um, kind of like our grid. So let's go ahead and let's just call it custom grid. Um, if you're doing this on a live site, um, and for example, this is the featured posts um, grid, then call it whatever makes sense. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use custom grid. And then I want to set a grid layout on it. And I don't want to do like a 50-50 um, type of layout. I kind of want to have like a slightly more small um, space for the image and then a bigger for the content. So I'm going to do like a two, three um, type of grid. So I need five columns. Um, I'm not going to set a width or a min width of the columns because these are going to span the correct size anyway, but you could if you want. So um, let's go ahead and put about two, maybe let's put three rams of a gap in between our columns. Um, and just to see what we are doing, let's actually go ahead and first add one and two divs in there. So we kind of have a visual uh, of what we're working on. So let's go back to our custom grid. And then what I want to do is, like I said, I want to span this two and this three columns. So I'm going to go in here and use that child span override. So the first div is going to get a two column span. And then our second one, is going to get a three column span. So now I have two and three. And that's about it for now. So um, let's quickly save this. And before we go any further, let's already also put um, some classes on here. So I'm going to use that same custom grid. And let's call this image wrapper. And then on this side, I'm going to go ahead and add a class of custom grid underscore content wrapper. All right. So next thing I want to do is actually add in our image. Um, there we go. And we're going to pull that in from our post. So we're going to use that featured image. And then on this side, um, we want to add a heading. Um, let's go with an H3 for this one. Then we want to add a text field and let's add in a button as well. So let's pull in the correct data for these. So double click, select, insert data, use the post title and let's make that a link as well. 
and then actually double click select insert data we're going to use our excerpt and then the other thing we want to do is i want to have this button let's set the data to link to our post so use that permalink and we can set uh, like a read more or whatever text you want to put on this button and then what i'm actually gonna do just for the purpose of this um, video i have automatic css installed so i'm gonna use that all sp all spacing just to quickly like give it a little bit of spacing but you can go ahead and give each of them a separate class and then style them accordingly um, to whatever style you want but this is just a little bit quicker for the purpose of this tutorial so let's actually go ahead and see on the front end what we are working with right now so as you can see i have all of my posts uh, showing up with the title the read more and the image so next what i want to do is um because we're now gonna start styling um everything let's go back to our normal mode so we see all of our posts or at least we get some type of visual um, this is kind of buggy in oxygen i must admit but still on the front end you know, it should look just fine so what i want to do is um, i want to create some space around here so i'm gonna go in that div and let's actually put like a margin button on there of like 4m so let's actually save and let's make sure that we are correct on the front end. That looks perfect. So now we have some breathing room in between our posts. And let's actually start switching our, um, our grid. So what we want to do is we want to every second child, so every second um, element in our repeater we want to switch the order of our image and our content so to do this we are going to use a little bit of custom CSS so let's go into style sheets and let's add a new one and let's call this uh, repeater there we go and what I want to do now is we want to like I said um, target every second child of our um, custom grid and then we want to change the order of the elements inside so we're gonna go and use that custom grid class and we're gonna um, select the second child so we're gonna use our pseudo element and we're gonna select our second child so to m and then what I want to do is um, for every second child target the um, custom grid um, content wrapper and we also want to have an option to target our image wrapper so basically what we're going to do is we're going to every second um, child of our bigger grid we want to switch that inside element and we're going to use order to do that so our um, content needs to be the first one and our image needs to be our second one and as you can see um, it already switched inside of our builder let's actually save this and have a look on our front end as you can see here we go um, we have our alternating um, layout so basically now we have switched up our layout the only thing that is left is making it a bit more responsive because if we go ahead and check um, on smaller screen sizes of course this does not look that great so let's make some adjustments for our responsive layout i'm gonna go back to my diff which is my custom grid and let's actually check at what point we want to switch up our uh, grid layout so i'm gonna go with this one and let's set that grid and we want to have one column and let's take off that gap 
so now we only have like the image and then we have um, the content underneath it for the smaller screens but of course since we actually um, told inside of our CSS that every second child needs to be um, the reverse of our first child um, as you can see right now we have like an image then we have like the content but then we have the content and we have the image and then we have the image again with the content so we don't want that uh, on the smaller screens we do want this like alternating version on our big screens but for our mobile we actually want to kind of have that picture uh, content picture content type of layout so let's actually save this and let's go back to our front end for a second let's refresh and let's actually inspect and see what happens so when i go down and i actually select my custom grid you can see that there's a media query so we are actually gonna also have to kind of target this um, screen size and actually make sure that our alternating um, css only works for screen sizes bigger um, than what we just set our grid to switch up so let's go back to our um, css and we're going to use a media query and instead of using that max width i'm actually going to reverse it so i want to go min width but because we do that we actually want to um, put this one pixel um, one pixel up if i'm not mistaken so let's actually check if this is correct so let's save this and actually let's refresh our page and let's see what happens so normally at 991 pixels we have our um, one column grid so we have that image and then we have our text and then if we go one pixel up we switch back to our image on the side um, next to our content so as you can see right now we have fixed that issue by putting this little piece of code inside of a me media query so now every like smaller screen size we will just keep it and this actually um, basically fixed that problem now you can go ahead and use a different uh, media query we can also put like you know this is quite a big um, screen style still so you can kind of like choose a different breakpoint as to where you want to switch up your layout of course go ahead and you can style this a lot better but i'm just gonna keep it at this for this tutorial um, if you have any questions or any remarks feel free to leave a comment and if you like this video then feel free to leave a like or subscribe to get notified when i um, post a new video thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one